Welcome back. I like doing these short little series. I'm used to doing those big old long hot doctor no view getting videos. All right, so what I've done is I have prepped, as you can see, let's see what we got on the overhead cam here up close. Uh, I have prepped these wires. Let's see if I can get in there. Background interference there. Uh, let's see, can you? Oh, there. You saw it for half a sec. Maybe down just a scotch more. Up just a scotch left. Not sure why it's. Focus. 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 That should be focus. No problem. Focus. All right, there you can see it. Boom. For half a second. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I already prepped each one of these ends uh, by putting a little bit, cleaning them up, making the right matching link, and then putting a little bit of uh, rosin on them. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a little piece of, this is thermal insulation, and it just uses a quick little lighter burst. To be able to seal that off so but but you're gonna have to make it you know within that tolerance range in order to be able to fit through so you slide these on here and uh sometimes i solder something and then i forget so now as you can see i have my proper soldering platform in place it's much easier much cleaner much happier with the salt and just to show you, here's some resin, and what we're wanting it to do is to mainly run down on this green guy. So we're just putting a little goopy, goopy, goopy on the green guy. All right, and we're going to bring it together. Top guy gets to warm first. Make sure you're using the hot part of your tip, and I've noticed this part of my tip is over here. And then get the under guy. You want you know be patient. And so that smoke you're seeing isn't the solder or the wire. That's just the uh, rosin. Okay, so now we're almost there. These two are gonna come together real nice. Give it just a tiny bit of pressure. And do it. Let me come around this way so you guys can see exactly what's going here and here. And you know what I could do? I could do Hey, hey, hey. Who this? My my chat is covered. Who this? Did you know you could share each and everything? Aw. You you how is the counter cage personal experience? Oh, that was an old one. Yeah, counter cage is cool. But this is going to make it so much better. All right, now we're going to try this. You know, this is my hot tip. And I've just realized I'm using the wrong side of the iron. Or not the wrong side, but just once you use your iron for a little bit, like I can change out the tip and all, but it's not really necessary. Yeah, there we go. That is some stubborn right there. All right, so it's fine. It's not a big deal. And uh, it's not going to make the solder out of bounds or anything, but we're definitely going to have to add one tiny job. <clears throat> solder to my tip. And this is, I probably should have just changed tips after this last round, but, you know, it's hot. I didn't want to have to 
undo redo so sorry the middle of the freaking night I'm trying to finish this so I can play my video game <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Had to just kind of remind both of the wires that they are coated in a metal liquid. There we go. Boom. Can you see that solder? I'd give it a B. There's a little lump on the right because it, the wire got too hot. But that's okay. It's really, really okay. And uh, so that's it. You want to take them out. Give it the tiniest pull test, twist test, fill a heat. Yeah, see, that's a globber. Uh, if it was uh, an exposed part, I would definitely take the time to kind of mash that down. Make that, oh, make that, make that, make that, make that. Do the best possible version. That is 100% solid. We are red to green. We're double checking in our mind that that is exactly what we want. Double checking this is the shorty versus the longy. I made the grounds a little shorter. Yes, perfect. <clears throat> and then we just simply take a heat device and no need hooking up a heat gun or something crazy. Just take a bick and you want to waft. You don't want to burn it. You want to waft underneath and it'll start to shrink. So this is shrink wrap. Thermal insulate. All right, and that's heated up on that side. Now, if you want to be clean with it and get an even seal, you're going to go over here. You want it. Boom, what? Doom. You see it just lips right around the cable. So perfectly. Uh, if you want to, if you're in a hurry, yeah, you could just boom, whoop, zip it through. But it leaves, uh, you know, puckers. And spots that aren't necessarily that perfect, because that's that's uh, that's some quality grade uh, schnig right there. When you can't see the lump very well, and both sides of the wire look like they just come in and go out. So that's that's what we're looking for. This is a little hot. All right, it's cool enough. And now we're moving on. Ground town number two. Ah, uh, yeah. This has turned out to be a nice little stream experience. So I think I'm going to do more tutorials because it's kind of just what I do. And I have an Elegu set. The Elegu set actually has joysticks, buttons, but it also has Arduino circuit boards. It's the whole big starter kit, the 2560. I'll show it to you another time. But I'm going to keep on chug a lug in here. And uh, green is going to go to the original black. And I went back and double checked my YouTube video that I just put up in order to be able to finish this off. So now we're going in here. We're getting there. Is that bad? Is that bad? All right. Oh, you're crashing. We got some more coffee. We got some more coffee. Oh, okay. So, you know, I put the rosin on because last time we demonstrated uh, uh, this particular rosin. It's not my favorite rosin. It's really not high-grade electronic rosin, and it, it's, it's okay. But uh, it's not like in the double heat. So once you heat it up once, all right. Let's move this up a little bit here. I'm going to go overhead view. And uh, let's see. You know what I can do? On this view, I'm just going to try something real quick. With the overhead view. I'm going to go into uh, configure the video. And then I'm going to grab the zoom control. And see if I can get the or the focus control. Because what I'm trying to do 
is actually shift the focus from its natural focus, which is probably closer to the background. So if we pump this up to like, Five, there we go. We're already getting there. Yes. All right, so that's past it. Pass it the other way. 19, too much. Seven. Six. Let's go. 13. All right, that's pretty clean. It's hard to see because there's no background or anything, but. Once we, yeah, you can see the tip. Once we get in there, it's going to go smooth. It's going to drip, drip, drip all the way. And then so I'm going to start out because I know this is the hot point on this particular tip because this tip needs to be changed, which has about five different tips. But I like to get the most use out of them. We try to do that with everything in our household. Kind of our philosophy. We, we're big on uh, reuse. Let me fix my... Uh, Streamlabs OBS display apply OK and then so now four viewers rock on baby boogie what's up everybody and so here we go Oh, snap, I wasn't underneath with both wires. Still salvageable, not a problem. Just have to push through from the bottom for both wires and try and the edge. There it is. Boom. Uh-oh. So close on the first try. I think I'm going to just do a little bit of edge on that one. And you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to touch it with this edge and melt it. You don't want the whole thing to break, like as far as like the whole thing to melt. You just want this edge because it dried just slightly sideways. You can see I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it. Uh, it's this tip, honestly. It's just if that was a, a different tip, I feel like that would definitely. Let's see, I think this. The opposite of the dial. That's that's where I'm at. I'm gonna hold it tight and get in there. Come on, buddy, buddy. <laughs> All right, at least I'm able to bend it like back on my guess, right? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, the solder. Not he's like, no, I've done my job, dude. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hee hee. You know what I just did? Of course I did. I did it. I did it. Now I have to undo it. So I didn't put the uh, <laughs> the sleeve. is exactly what I said. Which, to be fair, that wasn't how I wanted it to go down anyway. So I, I'm okay with this. Uh, but... That is exactly what I said to happen so many times, man. All right, we'll go back to the main view here. Yeah, that's in better focus. I like that a lot better. I like a manual focus. When I had my DSLR for a short time, I was borrowing a buddy's DSLR back in the day when I first got into this stuff. And when I got a focus knob, I got a focus knob on my shoulder rig. Oh, man. That, my friend. It was cool. All right, so now I am recovering. Thermal. Do do do. These guys? No. Bing. I feel like you know I at least gotta do do like. You know, or do like the elevator. You know. Yeah. Well, Creator Carla just got a new high score on pack. What was it? Said twelve three seventy. That's not a new high score for you. Oh, for that counter, yeah. You know what? It's a big difference when you go from playing the retro mini arcades to playing like the counter arcade. 
the joystick and the and are, are an actual joystick and button. And so when she, you know, you, you're moving the joystick, it's a different experience altogether. I personally, uh, I'm pretty stoked. All right, so we're going orange, red, red. Make sure you're paying attention, man. Get you quick. Cotton slipping. Okay, so. So this is the rerun. We got them down last time, but it like you can see this ed, this little squiggly line looking dude wasn't edge in perfect. So I say edge in perfection. Okay, so those guys those are looking good. And then again, we're gonna put some that dude down here, grease him up because we want it to run toward the bottom. And now we're going down. Oops, see that? He's already out of place. That might have been what happened last time. All right, cool. Break it down. Let's get in there. Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right, and so we're going back at it. And thus, slowly we go to mod and hack and mod and hack. All right, there we go. Come on, buddy. Okay, so that solder's on. I don't know what's going on with my tip, but it is Donsky. That is terrible. It's all right. It's all right, though. That moment it breaks and you're just not paying attention, man. Talked about this earlier. Like, you need to stay focused. <laughs> I need to stay focused. <laughs> Creator Carla was like, sorry. <laughs> no, I wasn't telling you. I need to stay focused. There we go. Now, this one's an okay one. Based on the fact that it was a recovery and I messed it up on the first go around. The soldering, man. I feel like personally, you got to do it right the first time. It's like dip and it drops and it's done. It's permanent. And uh, it's it's like with welding, that's it. It ain't coming back off. You know, you have to torch it off, grind it off. But with solder, you got some play there. Yeah, it's kind of beat up, but it'll work. I feel like I do. It's solid. I know it's solid, so. And it fits in there. Perfect. Round two with the Bix. Just going to start on one side, work my way down the other side. Get the tip, turn it over, come back. Again, yeah, you could just flame flame it, but I have a bad habit of scorching things and Especially when you're this close to being finished on a decent job that you've done that you're very happy about. <laughs> I have to keep looking and make sure that's the red, that's the R. Because I can in this light I can't see or I rubbed it off in that whole process. I'm gonna write it on again. This is R <laughs> for red. <laughs> and you know it's just a pin out on the circuit board, which is easy to trace. I think I went over that earlier. But each one of these lines 
is connected directly to a pin. And so you can see the pin out. It's easy. That part's easy. Uh, difficult part for us was I actually had to mod it in order to be able to fit with the two gate switch, which saved a little bit of something or other for somebody. <laughs> Heck, one up, you know, they're like, oh, this makes more sense. Okay, yeah, I, you don't want people fixing your terribly crappy machine, you're right. And by machine, I mean the joystick and the button that come with it are not good. All right. And I'm chugging right along, so I'm going to keep on chugging right along. I got, uh, you know, the short end, the short end, the short end. All right. We got that guy here. And is it better to do the short one first or the long one first? I don't know. Depends what you're doing. And I usually want more length. And so now we're going to go and just do, just do, we're going to go and just do, because that's all you need out of there, black and orange, that's, that's the last, you, got, you don't need the yellow, we don't need no yellow, and we don't need no green, <laughs> all right, oop, let me hit you with the main so you can see what I'm fiddling with, so when you solder, and there is something attached to it, you have to like go through the wires and make sure that they're straight before you do that next solder. Like you can do it with one wire, but but then boom, you do it with another wire and it can wrap the previous wire. So now I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna roll them tight. Let's see if I can get that in here. Roll them tight. And uh you know, with these types of things, no reason to snip these wires at all. I could eventually need them if the other bumper goes out. This thing's kind of wonk, but it fits in the case right, so it may work. All right, now we got two more to solder here, and we're going to go with orange first. How's it going, beautiful? You tired? All right, how'd you get on, how'd you do on your homework? It doesn't sound like you're finished, but that's okay. Oh, okay. Your school is definitely what I was doing. School is definitely the report. Okay. Did you get anything in there? Did you did you type anything in there? No. Okay. That's all right. All right. All right. All right. I'm not calling you out. Just try to figure out what our Sunday is going to be like. Yeah. Yeah. No. We get to. I don't need to talk about it. Columbus, blah, blah. Meow Wolf in Columbus. Well, other world. Well, not the same concept. Same, same concept. Not the same company. No, I get it. Yeah, I'm not trying to take away from the brand. I'm just. Yeah. Did they excite you? Did TV trays excite you? They're awesome. Very expensive. That's kind of what I was trying to say this whole time. Right? I know, right? But it's okay, because now you know. They're not made of tin anymore, and they're made to last. All right, I'm going in again. Two more wires to solder, install, and then I'm going to play some motherfucking Galaga. Oh, yeah, that was supposed to be going in double Double, 24? No. 12. Okay, got it. So this is I forgot I had turned it down when I started doing the initial because it, <clears throat> the solder's more delicate and it burns at a low or it melts at a lower temperature the first time. It's just how it is. And so it was like I turned it down and then I the reason it wasn't popping on this next round is cuz I have to turn it back up because I'm you know, remelting old solder. So this could change. I might not even need this. I don't know why I was thinking. I was thinking it's too late to be doing this shit anyway. 1.40 in the morning. But I'm not going to put it off because I want to play Galaga. And, and I've been putting off my streams. And I haven't been doing the trainings. I, I, I'm serious about doing this stuff. But 
I'm the type of person, you know, if I have the resource, I'm going to try and do it correctly. All right, so we'll, we'll just give it a go and see what we think. Essentially, it's just got to melt, right? No. <laughs> the tip isn't right. It's not melting. There it is. That's how that's supposed to work. Yes. Yes. Professional. That's better. 380 <clears throat> to 400. Right now, I bumped it up to 410 to get it going in the right direction. I feel like it definitely is. That was great. That was beautiful, actually. Watching a solder melt. If watching a solder melt is beautiful to you, then you're a geek. <coughs> Zoom in there just to see the handiwork. Oop, can't do that if I use manual focus. There we go. Yes. Check them out. Yeah. That is fine. That is fine. Ah, you know what? It's stacked. It didn't melt. Well, no, on the other side, it's good. I think it's good. I'm going to tug, twist, not BCT. All right, another bick at it. Uh huh. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so now we got one left. I think we're going to take this thing all the way home. Looking good. The bulge is a little too much. I don't like that. I'm going to go back in and see if we can snug that up a little bit. Yeah. That's it. Snugs it gets. So, you know, and we saw that. It was a touch out, but I'm okay with that. Chugging, chugging, tugging, chugging, tugging, chugging. Moving right along. Moving right along. I'm going to write a song. I'm moving right along. Moving right along. You know what? 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 I'm about to do. And so I'm going one more. Nope. No, mm -mm. black to yellow. So now, once I do this last one, then I'll do the review of the pinout, and uh, I'll probably do like a, a clip. I'll make a clip of it. Let's see. There we go. Let me punch back in. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, 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 yo. I don't know. I mean, unfortunately, I'm kind of in a situation right now where I'm sitting here by myself. So what I'm going to do so I don't lose my civility. My civility. Uh, I think I'm just going to open up a random single session here from this is, uh, no, wait, what's going on? File, open recent, file, open recent, and uh, 227. That's my son's birthday. And here we go, opening this up. So what I'm doing, you can't see what I'm doing. I should have put the live view in here, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm just setting up some music in the background because I'm going to come around this third corner. I'm going to make it a whole clip and everything. See what it sounds like. That's great. Beauty. Simplistic. Let's see what we got. Nice breakdown. It's way in the background, so you know. Yeah, this is one of my favorite uh, harmony melody combos that I've done. All right, so now we've got this guy. Alright. 
orientation of the gated clips and uh, the bend of the wire. Those, those things seem like they're not that important. Those are like the two most important things to get a good solder on as far as beyond actually the solder part. <laughs> and you can see we're mismatched. Skadonk. Nope, I ain't even about to do that. This is okay because there's not really a ton of solder on that bottom one already anyway. All right, so we're gonna do this here. Glob that dude up. Drop him down, make sure we got them all straightened up. Boom, pop it off. This should just be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. All right, so a little top pressure and a little bottom pressure, that's it. All right, soften it up on top. Don't want it to break though, and then Oh yeah, this is already starting to go. I didn't even realize. That's it right there. Now from the bottom, and it melts straight down. Connection made. Perfect. Straight wire stack, no blob. And now we'll see strength. We'll give it a second or two to cool off. Pop them out. And there's a little maneuver you have to do, you know. To get them out because if you grab it with that clip and you yank, it's all over, buddy. Starting over. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. Here we go. Check this thing out here. We got everything in. Tug, twist, the solder. Let's see. There we go. The solder itself looking great. That's pro level that is acceptable all right and last bit up here hey, yeah just for the record i had to go back and i had to watch my own video to double check the wire schematic just to make sure because once i did it i didn't remember for sure if it was orange red and then it was green yellow or yellow green i didn't i couldn't remember so this stuff is hard. This is not easy. This is why no. This is why it hasn't been done. This is why, you know, professional arcade repair locations are are they don't have this combo yet. Probably the new wave of cabinets. Not a lot of like hardcores getting new waves of cabinets, but the truth of the matter is, here we go. Putting it back together, folks. This uh, single session is going on the 909 track. Core kit 909. I stacked three core kits. Little base floor bow. Bounce is what that's short for. All right, so now we're just uh, cleaning off our tools. I got a little sponge rag. This is fine. This goes with my kit. Clean everything off. Turn this guy off. Uh, switch. Give them one last little so we're not. That's, that tip there has served his purpose. See, he, he, he's done, Steve. Next round, we're going to have freshies. Yeah. I think that's all. I don't know what that redonk is for, but that's our tip. That's what we're going for. Electronics. Small gauge tip. There it is. Looks like a needle. So I'll be using that one. On my next soldering adventure and this whole pack will go back i have a the soldering kit gets put away all the tools that's everything i needed so far and uh not really too much i didn't need i mean obviously the kit has its standard stuff here's some separate solder that i contemplated using but almost exactly the same stuff so this guy Little side notes because I'm cleaning up here. This little piece of sponge is actually goes right here so that you can wet your tip. And uh, when you're doing certain types of leads, that's the best way to do it is to wet the tip or dampen it, not wet it. Dampen the tip so that it's cleaned and then you get the rosin 
back on top of it. So that's just one methodology. These guys, these old pin pushers. I'm gonna try using them, keep them for some experiment or something. All right, I've got, uh, bringing in the counter K back up here. Okay, let's see, we're on the main shot. Plug it in. Sometime I'll give you a tour of my whole console here. Down below I have a clean power rack. And uh, just plug it in. So I know I have no issues with electronics power unless it's coming from the electronics so that's gonna be cool we're not there yet we're not there yet. calm down i guess technically you could be but i don't want to mess like ding this with the ball or do something very silly and just be upset at myself for the rest of my life I do something stupid. not that this will be around forever but it has a good chance to be around for a while all right so let me fix the shot for you there we go, pulling up and off, up and off, and uh, we're going to install this here, <laughs> final run through, like I just mentioned so many hours ago, you know, you're just kind of, you need debris that got in there, I'm going to brush it out the back when I open the back, and uh, all right, so here we go. Wimp, 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 wimp. Yeah, I dig this song. This is one of my favorite. It's kind of whimsical. I think the breakdown on it. So. Feeding the wires down underneath the uh, control panel. Alright, they're all in there. And there's my mark. I'll bring it in so you guys can see. I marked the chip on the front and the back side so I would know the orientation. I wouldn't have to think about it. That's really what this stuff is all about. And so you, you got to line up where it says PC. Let's see if we can get that on the cam. Yeah, let me see. Did I put my finger behind it? Tilt it? Alright, anyway. There's a tab there, and at the very tip of this tab, uh, you can almost see it. There it is, PC. PC right there. So you know that goes lines up uh, to the top. At least I did, because I checked that. That's how I oriented the, the joystick. So these go over the top of the tabs, click, click. This is what holds the whole thing together. And this is also through this rotation here can open up eight way versus not eight way. So up is off, but down is working left and right. If I wanted to, let's see. Could I turn it that way? I could flip it over and turn it so that I could block this from doing the uh, Eight direction because right now the corners are open and so if I slip it it's gonna block the eight direction but it doesn't matter no none of that matters this little rotator right here is four to eight way switch because I'd have to have a two-way switch which I don't have all right and then so here's our connection here this weird four pinner I'm gonna slide it back and we're gonna do one more nice view shot here we're gonna bring it in tight and we're gonna see so there this is the modification that has to happen you have to solder directly to this this is a solder resistant material you have to snip into the post you have to disconnect the post by snipping it creating this gap you can see that light underneath it there and then just smash it in there and get it to fit on there and then once you get that connected then that has to go back and connect as a ground to your other piece and so it ended up being with this orientation and this rotation this was red and this is orange yellow 
green, I believe. And so now you know each piece has one wire and then the black wire is five pin that connects all of them. All right, so that's in and looking decent on the cleanliness. I like how that all worked out. The pin's in tight, everything's good. That is my favorite part. That's so clean. I don't think I could have planned that myself. Like It just worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna bring it down now. Dust off. Someone says, you already got crap on your control deck. And I was like, oh, I feel like a slob. And uh, the next rebuild on this is getting a new fire button. Because this fire button travels that far before activating. I mean, it's just annoying. It's above the, the, I don't know, it's just not my type of button. I'm going to go for another type of button. I don't know if I'm going to do LEDs and all that. It doesn't need to be that cool. Unless I can find some green ones. If I find green LEDs, I'll probably do that. All right, here we go. So there's more crap on. That's where that fiberglass cleaning would come in handy, huh? I'm just doing a quick clean here. This isn't like this is a uh, you know, shared machine. Okay, so now you can see. I'm going to push this back here. That's it right there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm believing in faith that I got it right. Uh, there's no point in BSing yourself and saying, well, uh, I'm like, no, I got it right. I nailed it. I know for sure. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and act as if. Talked about that earlier. Sometimes when you're doing these projects, you got to get into there, trial and error, and all right. Oh, man. This is it. This is the moment of glory here. Not yet, actually. I have to still rerun the cable connector and hope it doesn't blow up on me. Oh, that's it. Oh, my gosh. And the spring back. It's huge. That other joystick was like... You would go... So, you would go like here before it would activate and then it'd be click and then when you let go it wouldn't just pop, pop back like that it was like mm. beauty all right flip them twist them you gonna pull the power rotate finish the last step of reconnecting everything and putting it all back together let's see all right, that's pretty good there. Mm. I just put the one on so we can keep it stable. Don't want that flopping. I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold this up with my stomach there so that. There, here we go. Doesn't fall off. And so now we need to start with on off pin here. Negative. All right, we're going to go take this guy.